Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. Greenblood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hoped never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Rainer and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it, and I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. If Petrus were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That old fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that could make someone disappear in broad daylight, without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Exactly. It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius, but it's worth a try. You're right. And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. But if anyone deserves it, it's that bastard Herman. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems there has been an unexpected development. The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island, and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will find out. No, thank you. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. And Kurt, I believe I should be thanking you for my nomination. It is your upright and honorable nature that won you this post. Not I. Perhaps sometime in the future you'll curse me for having suggested your name. I hope not. How can I be of service to you? You seem to know Kurt well. If you're expecting her to tell you some nasty little secrets, it might be best if I head away. Don't say such silly things, Kurt. You know I only have good things to say about you. We have known each other a long time, and we have fought together. I think we have been brought closer by the ideals of the Guard. A mercenary guild, certainly, but for whom honor and loyalty are not empty words. Some would tell you that we're past it, that our vision is too naive and idealistic. Perhaps that's true. 
But I do not mind fighting and risking my life for what I believe is right. Kurt, too. Anything else? We are here to talk to you about a document we found in the training camp. A letter signed by Major Herman. He's behind all of this, Sieglinder. Herman. Kurt, this is personal now. When will this story be finished? I could court marshal him, but you know how much certain people support him. I know. He'd probably get away with it. Everyone loves the heroic Major. No. We thought of another way. The Ordo Luminous. You... you want to have them burned as heretics? If he'd been caught as Torsten's accomplice, he would have been drawn and quartered. Do you think that's any less painful? I don't know if you came to look for my help or my blessing. <sighs> you have both. But promise me that you'll stop seeking vengeance after this. You have my word. We just need your help to find Herman. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. Talk to the corporal in charge of the prisons. I know him well. He's loyal. He's from the old school. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminous keeps its prisoners in the prisons of the Guard. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself, you could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the Corporal. Here you go. Thank you for doing this for me, Sieglinder. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. What do you want now? We have come to discuss something that concerns you. Really? I'm listening. We would like to draw your attention to a man who has confessed to terrible crimes. Has he professed heresy? Venerated one of the demonic creatures worshipped by the savages? Not exactly. He's responsible for many deaths and was one of Torsten's supporters. Who, as you know, was planning to overthrow your governor and take her place. These truly are crimes. But they have nothing to do with the Ordo Luminous. You should denounce this man to our governor. I'm sure she'll be happy to have him drawn and quartered. Unfortunately, this man has friends in high places. I doubt that we'll be able to convince the Mother Cardinal. Politics. The curse of our society. I approve of your quest for justice, and I will help you as much as I can. I can't have your man publicly arrested without raising too many questions. But if you arrange for him to come to one of our jails discreetly, I'll make sure justice is delivered. The felon will receive the punishment he deserves on behalf of the glorious enlightened. May he always keep you in his divine blessing, Aloysius. You will soon find this man in your jail. Anything else? Nothing. It's all right. Remember that the enlightened is always watching you.
what can I do for you? That'll be all, Quarter. Yes? What can I do for you? Sir, Commander Zieglander wrote this letter to you. Hmm... I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the Major, the Commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So, what can I do for you? We're looking for the Major. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is. But I haven't seen him for some time. Following the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. Well, we'll just have to go and interrogate them. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an Ordo Luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Listen. I can lock him up, but you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the Major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. You're not wrong, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, I could put the whole lot of them to sleep. When they wake up, They'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. Exactly. Come see me when you have enough. Anything else? We should go. Goodbye. Don't hesitate to have a rum. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you
Yes. What can I do for... So you need sleeping potions. Is that right? Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know, and I'll do the rest. Anything else? We should go. Goodbye. Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants. Soldiers! Everyone outside, that's an order! But, uh, Captain, with all due respect, you're not in our regiment. We're supposed to stay here, Captain. We must guard the barracks. I believe that the rank of Captain of the Guard counts regardless of regiment soldiers. Especially when the said Captain reports directly to Commander Sieglinder. If it's an order from the Commander, we'd better obey, guys. Oh, sorry, Captain. We didn't mean to disobey you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You're far from your regiment, Captain. What do you want? We're looking for Major Herman. I was told you'd know where to find him. The Major? He must be on a mission somewhere. Don't play dumb with me, Lieutenant. I'd be sorry to see you arrested as an accomplice. Listen, Captain. We really don't know what you're talking about. As for your threats, you're not our superior. You're not part of our regiment. Yet we're here with your new commander's blessing. The Major is accused of treason. You'd better tell us where to find him. Lies. The Major is a righteous man. We'd give our lives for him. Really? Let's see you do it. To my house! And death to the others! So, are you finally ready to tell us where we can find Herman? We'll never tell you anything. Stop. You might be ready to die for him, but I'm not. He's in a warehouse, on the port. The traitor is probably getting ready to leave the island. What do you want to do with these two, Kurd? Lieutenants, you're under arrest for now. Go to the Commander. She'll decide what to do with you. <sighs> At your orders, Captain. Let's find the Major before he escapes. It's been so long. How did you find me? Does that really matter, Major? You're finally gonna pay for all your evil, your treachery, and your schemes. Come with us, Major Herman. If you think I'm gonna give up without a fight, you're wrong. Soldiers, seize them! Maybe I'm likely to take me in this battle. To my help! Uh, uh, death to uh, the uh, others! Uh, oh, your magic uh, is running out. Uh, take a potion. Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Oh, no! What? You shouldn't be surprised. After all, I owe my talents to you. Let's lock him up. The Inquisitor will do the rest.
Kurt, are you all right? Yes. Better than ever. You cannot even imagine how much I hated that piece of filth. What did he do to you? As you may have guessed, I suffered the same treatment as Reyna. The only difference is that I survived. And there's even more. Believe me, I'm glad that these memories went up in flames along with that bastard. Thank you, Green Blood. Thank you for helping me as I go through all this. I'll never forget it. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case, but the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at her mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him.
Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No, no one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah, that sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer, I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the Arena Master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. again. What do you want this time? Why so defensive? Petrus, you have a proposal to make, I believe. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever, and that my ideas are always fruitful. They do say that you are devious. Perhaps too much so for your own good. Go on. My friend here loves the glory and sand of the arena. I've gained quite a reputation. Soon I'll be taking on a true champion. I'm no fool, though. I know I won't last long against him. Yeah? I've seen the odds. Everyone expects you to lose within a minute. So what? Let us suppose that our champion is a little less aggressive than usual. If the fight can last at least five minutes, an informed better would win the jackpot. And I'd keep a little of my pride. Very well. I'll arrange it. But no dirty tricks. Don't take advantage of the deal and try to beat the champion. If you do, he'll wipe the floor with you. You want to get your money. Don't get too greedy.
face for the eye. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena, and may the better fighter win. What a brilliant spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelius seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes. And I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. Lord de Sade. And you, Petrus. What can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, uh, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what is she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's him. No, please. Well, since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My mother? Petrus, is this true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You knew that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The prince sent you here to use you. 
but I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little, until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. <laughs>